impossible to imagine life without a touch of sweetness. Sugar is so much a part of our lives that we hardly ever think of what goes behind the making of sugar. Beginning with sugar cane. The cultivation of sugar cane is supported by a large number of agricultural workers in India. On an average, India now produces over 200 million tons of cane every year. In fact, India is the largest producer of sugar in the world. And about 465 sugar mills make that fact possible. Like this one, close to Meerut, near New Delhi. The process of converting cane to sugar is a long one and a lot of energy in the form of fuel and electricity is needed for it. The sugar making process also generates a lot of waste, especially after crushing in the form of bagas. But many sugar mills like this one have evolved efficient methods where this so-called waste bagas actually becomes a highly efficient source of energy. In this sugar mill alone, about 1,800 tons of bagasse is generated every day. The bagasse is used to produce power and process steam. 9.5 megawatts of bagasse generated power runs the entire sugar production process, with enough surplus to supply electricity to 700 houses in the neighborhood. Sugar mills are usually situated in remote areas where access to power is not easy. Such energy efficient systems have been suitably self-serving for the sugar industries until now. But in the context of the potential of bagas, it should not be limited to eco-friendliness and energy efficiency within the sugar industry alone. About 10 megawatts of surplus power can be generated through bagas in sugar factories with a daily crushing capacity of 2,500 tons. This surplus electricity from an agro-waste can be made available to neighboring areas, thereby creating opportunities of growth in remote parts of the country.